Brief DVMs coming at you today with uh, red green corn sheller and our black walnut huller. Uh, this is a, a nice tool that we use and as you can see here by this first clip I'm showing you this is actually in December when we were yeah maybe it was November we were doing some popcorn in the house in front of the fireplace on some cold winter nights. Yeah the kids like doing it a little bit of free child labor works great to get it done. But sometimes when you have larger quantities you want to go faster I'd really recommend you go to Amazon and buy one of these nice red green um, corn shellers you know we use it also for black walnut um, hulling but it's it's really a nice tool it holds up well it's extremely durable it's got a flywheel on it if you want to hook it up to a motor I've really never had much purpose to do that because I don't have to do that kind of quantity I've got it mounted on a couple two by sixes and sitting over a pail took the air compressor and cleaned it up here for the video for you it's got a nice spring loading good solid strong teeth on it works really well you know, you just put the, the corn in it, and probably 95% of the corn goes in the pail, and just lightly crank the, the wheel, and out comes the, the, the husk. You know, it's, you know, I mean, the cob, excuse me, the, if there's any husk or, um, you know, silk on these things, that pretty much comes out too. Very seldom does it ever go in, just kind of gets spit out with the teeth uh, when it puts out the cob. You know, I, I really like the tool. It works great, especially if I want to just, you know, grind up a 5 or 10 gallon pail full of, full of corn. Some people have been asking me, though, um, that have seen it, they're like, hey, isn't that hard on your wrist? And isn't it hard to do? And doesn't that get old after a while? Well, I can go through a pail in about 15 minutes. But to prove my point, I um, asked Anna here, my nine-year-old, to get on it. Um, she's done it several times. And I uh, have her do some for you so you can see that it really doesn't take a lot of muscle to do this. Um, you know, in, in this situation, I can fill up a pail, tell them to go in the shop and, you know, shell it out and, uh, you know, take it out to the birds or whatever and it works really well uh, the girls like doing it it's kind of a fun thing I like watching the corn spin around and the teeth chew it all to pieces and then pop out the the um the the corn cob and of course you know if i take those and and give them to the to the animals they like those too uh switch gears here and put my seven-year-old on it tabitha and, you know she struggles just a little bit more to do it but as you can see she still does it still does it quite well just takes her a little longer to do it um, my point here is, is, you know, again, a lot of people say, oh, doesn't it hurt your arms and wrists doing this? Nah, this is actually really a simple tool, folks. You can drop a, a, a green coated, you know, hauled walnut in there and it'll pop out a whole walnut at the end with a, you know, with, uh, the nut in the, uh, shell yet, which is great. So then you can crack it later. Um, you can drop popcorn in this thing and it'll take the popcorn right off. You can put regular field corn in like we're doing here and it takes it right off. You get a nice pile at the end. This top-down view is just kind of, you know, show you what it's actually doing in there. It's just, it's just, you know, a set of teeth going around in a circle and a spring-loaded door, and then it grabs the cob and sticks it out the end. Really, a simple device. Been around for years, folks. You know, and this is just a great tool to have. Uh, it's worth it. It's worth every dime. It's one of those things that just, you know, makes work a little easier on the farm. Thank you for watching. Please like or subscribe. We'll put out great videos like this. Thank you.